circular thing and it snaps them it goes like mm, and the next one comes in the next one is coming in as the old one is going out so it's uh, kind of like how they used to do the old-fashioned brakes yeah you know commercial brakes. commercial brakes on a tv show but i can see when it's being done i know because um in the corner of your uh, okay the projectionist thing when they used to have to change reels they've always had to change reels on movies when the reels had to be changed there would be a dot in the corner that dot would tell you change the reel and and you'd basically you know switch to the other one and then you do this well what's happening is is now the reels are being changed mechanically in front of you well because part of it is if you don't get that timing right you're still watching the other movie mm -hmm. if, if you don't get it right there's either a gap in the movie or there's an overlap yeah we, 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 we set in the original pirates movie when that happened <laughs> yeah where they uh they, uh, the power went down in the middle of the real change. And we had to sit there forever for the power to come back on so the thing could lock back into place and we could watch the movie. Then we sat there during a digital version of the last Pirates movie before this one when the power went down and basically it just, you know, they had to wait for the power to come on so the computer would come back on. Same theater, as a matter of fact, same theater chain. So, you know, that's, you know, like I said, this is a technical thing. She really isn't big on technical. She can't tell you the difference in the theaters, though. I can tell you the difference in experience. Yeah. And, and the difference in experience is uh, like night and day or apples and oranges. And as we found out, at least in Los Angeles, the cost is about the same to go to IMAX really as the regular theater. Yeah, it really is. And here's the interesting part is, when you sell the IMAX 3D versus the regular 3D, the IMAX 3D is kind of like what you would imagine 3D to be like yep. if you hadn't been to a 3D movie. Yeah. Does, and then the, uh, the 3D movie is what? The 3D theater is like the nightmares that all the critics of 3D talk to you about. No, I'm not. No, it's that they tell you that the colorization isn't there, the sound isn't there. This and that is not there. Well, it's not there because the IMAX is designed... IMAX is like a... Okay, like, say you have a Blu-ray television set. A Blu-ray TV set already gives you a better quality picture than you're going to get off of another thing. A Blu-ray is close to 3D, but we're also seeing Toshiba's, Samsung's, and others with their standard sets. You'd swear you had a 3D picture in your hands mm -hmm. because the 2D is that good. That is an IMAX theater. The IMAX is so good that people always thought it was 3D. It wasn't. You didn't have to wear glasses. Well, you know, and part of it is, is the future, which is non-3D that we've already seen out there. Mm -hmm. Besides the 3D, yeah. it looks like it's 3D, and it's not. I know. We have been told by people at one of the major companies the cam that they already have the equipment available. Mm -hmm. It's just not on sale, but they've been playing with sell to people. They were, actually, we're talking to a vice president of the company. He's been playing with this stuff, and he's seen it. He said, you can't tell the difference between 3D and this product, so, and you don't have to wear the glasses. So people are thinking, well, does that mean that 3D is going away? No, it's just that means it's being incorporated. It's being incorporated. Uh, and it seemed the, the big problem with 3D has always been two things, the cameras and the glasses. Mm -hmm. The camera is a non-issue now because they're backrooming everything, totally everything. I mean, we've got people that are proudly sending us things out on DSLs that they're, well, this entire 3D series was shot on a DSL. Yeah. So, and then, and then um, this is a, we got a, we got a Panasonic 3D camera. Sony has 3D cameras. We got, we have a Sony 3D camera with two lenses on it. This has got, this has got a, a four inch lens attached to the camera and the software inside. We're also going to tell you that there's a company in Canada that can 3D any camera that's available that has a hard drive in it. Mm -hmm. It's just basically splitting the picture into two, which mm -hmm. is what this does. Mm -hmm. So because you say, well, when you take the lens off, why don't you have uh, everything 2D? Well, because it's the, the software in it takes those two, it takes those two pieces and Makes it work the same. We got software. We got multiple sets of 3D software. One of them automatically converts it into single picture for editing. The other software all, all has a double picture. See, part of it is we've been playing with it enough to go 2D to 3D, 3D to 2D, vice versa. Yep. So we can 
when we make all those changes ourselves. Yeah, we're the only people that can do a 2D, we can do, everybody does 3D, 2D to 3D conversion, we do a 3D to 2D conversion mm -hmm. for this simple reason, because the double picture, the double lenses give you the most ungodly beautiful, I mean, you'd have to see some you, of our you, work outside. When you outside. have enough light with, outside. If you have enough light outside, it, because it gives you so much information in at one time, that it, and because of the secondary reason. A true, D, true, a true 3D camera can never be out of focus. We've shown, we've got, I've got to get that up. Whereas um, a converted camera with a zoom lens on it, we do have, uh, we have one of our cameras that does do zoom on 2D and 3D both. But the Sony doesn't that we have, and the Panasonic doesn't. But they give you a god awful better picture in 2D because of the fact that uh, it's the two lenses. But uh, it's just you know, like I said, um, she, we we love the IMAX. We want to go back to the IMAX again, but it probably won't. We don't want to see the cartoons that are out there mm -hmm. because they don't want to. I mean, you got a cartoon is all. I, mean, I used to be a cartoonist. I was an animator. I mean, I was always told that we you know that this you know you could. You know, we could animate in 3D and nobody would know the difference. Every bit of computer animation done is as close to 3D as you can get. Mm -hmm. All of it is. Video games. All they do is make a slight change and almost every video game you have can be a 3D video mm -hmm. game. Because part of it is when you're working with animation, it's a different layer. Yeah. Which, it's a different dimension. That's right. But, um, like I said, she's, uh, like I said, if, if, if the cost is about the same in your city for an IMAX production as it is for a regular 3D theater, theater, you'd probably go see the IMAX. If it's not, then go to your regular theater to yeah. see it. But it, you need to go you need to go somewhere where there is an IMAX version and look at the same movie in IMAX and look at in a 3D mm -hmm. situation. I think you'll, you'll yourself know you'll which know one is better. Difference. So I guess we're, you know, we, we, we killed this topic to death, so until next time, this is old game. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, you can always go to www.montybubble.net on the net. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over 40 million links on the internet.